getting ready to rip here. Bring it down to the desired height and lock it in with a knob. Rips about like any other panel saw. It's very accurate within one thirty-second of an inch over four feet. Getting ready to cross cut, we disconnect the counterweight, release the lock, pull it up to the gap that we've machined into the guides, rotate it, drop it back in, reconnect the counterweight, and we're ready to go. Again, this is very accurate. It'll cut uh, across four feet within one thirty-second of an inch. If you need to miter, no problem. Just put a miter fence on. Just drill the hole in the OSB on the back, put a T-nut in. We bolt on the miter fence. By the way, that is a 2x4 and it will cut 2 by material. We zero the digital level. Bring it up to the desired angle. And clamp the miter fence on the back with a C-clamp. Secure your workpiece and you're ready to go. We can miter a piece up to 36 inches wide on a 45 degree angle. Just unplug the saw, disconnect the counterweight, pull it out when we're ready to put the router in. Just drop the router in place. Makes it a little easier to secure it to the rails. Pull the rope down, connect the counterweight, plug it in. And we're ready to route. Those polycarbonate carriages sure make it easy to see what you're doing. 